Okay, today what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at Tech Tool Pro uh, 5 and we're going to look at the different features on it, uh, particularly in the testing area. We'll go ahead and we're going to go ahead and start up Tech Tool Pro 5. And then we're going to cancel the uh, protection updates. We don't need those right now. And then, of course, uh, we'll look at the various different tests you can do. You can do the check computer. A uh, piece of advice, don't use the check computer unless you have a lot of time because it's going to thoroughly check the entire computer system over and do various different things to it. Uh, it is a very time intensive. Memory test allows us to test the memory on the computer. Um, does allow us to go ahead and uh, do uh, either a real short uh, one minute test on up to 90 minute uh, test. Surface scan allows us to check the hard drive uh, surface. You'll have to select the surface scan, then the hard drive, and then click on the run. Uh, surface scan is for older uh, is better for older drives because uh, if you're having some real major problems, this is a test you'll probably be looking at running uh, just for the way it works. You know the the thing that you need to do here. Um, and as I said, you got to click on the button after you get the two or three selections, starting from the left. So you start from the left, go to the right, selecting items uh, in Tech Tool before execution. And then, of course, uh, besides uh, that, that particular test, uh, then we can go on and look at other tests here. And uh, another next test we need to look at, of course, is the Smart Check. Smart was a, a, a thing that was created several years ago. Uh, it was in, incorporated in hard drives, and what it does, it allows you to catch problems before they occur. Uh, so it does some diagnostics of the drive itself, and it says, well, uh, it looks like this hard drive's got some issues. So you can actually do a, a check on the smart status uh, with this particular uh, option. Uh, and like I say, on a newer drive, since this drive is real new, I'm probably not going to do that as well. So again, we're coming back to uh, one thing that I recommend very strongly. Only run the tests you need. Now we go on to the next item, which is volume structures. Uh, volume structures basically allows me to uh, do a check of the for directory corruption. Uh, one little note over here that you'll notice, you know, you, you notice it's gr the button's grayed. And even if I select the drive, the button is still grayed because the volume structures test has to be uh, is not available on a startup volume. So in other words, uh, if you're running with that as the boot volume, you can't do that. You're going to have to boot off the DVD, or you're going to have to use um, the uh, the self-booting uh, e-disc that they that uh, Tech Tool Pro allows you to use. So uh, that's the one thing you got to think about is is uh, is it a t is it a test that I can do uh, with, with you know off the hard drive or is it a test that I can go ahead and run uh, or have to run from a di from the DVD? So anyway, that's one of those that you're gonna have to run from the DVD or from the uh, e, e drive as they call it. Okay. Um, you got a video memory check here, uh, very nice. It even shows you a little bit about the card that you've got in there, so you actually have a lot of information available to you. Uh, then, of course, we can go to the file structures test. Uh, you'll notice that the file structures test has options for checking various different things, and uh, uh, so here we can, we can check the, uh, you know, check for the uh, the the uh, different. Uh, Files that are on the on the hard drive, we can check uh, characteristics for graphics files. We can check the problem if there's problems with uh, either the XML or uh, or the uh, uh, plist files, which plists are very critical to the Mac. You can also check down here for the uh, MPEGs and uh, MP3s, which you'll notice I deselect those because I have a huge amount because I do so much video. I have a huge amount on this drive and I try to avoid that if I can. So today we're just going to check out the uh, plist and the uh, XML files. Now when I click on this it uh, asks if I want to uh, run it so it asks for my password. We go in, we put the password in, we tell it OK and then uh, it begins to run the test. Uh, what you'll notice uh, that will happen is that it, it gives you a, a feedback down here uh, uh, on what's be, what test is what being run on which file. Uh, also a count of how many files, you know, so 6,000 files, we've got uh, quite a few that have to be ran, so 6,700 files we've got to run. And already, even at this point, it's showing some errors that it's finding in this, in the, uh, uh, on the hard drive on those particular files. Um, the reason I'm doing this test anyway is because um, 
I had a case where I was doing a, a video capture of a video uh, of a video that was on my screen, and I decided I was going to record it to the hard drive, and uh, I started doing this one night. And unfortunately, I had uh, forgotten about it. I started it recording, and it was about a 30-minute uh, video clip. I walked out of the room. I forgot about it. I went to bed. I woke up the next morning at, to a dialog box on the middle of my screen saying, Your disk is full. Uh, please please make more space on the drive. So basically what I did, uh, I backed everything out, but unfortunately it had done some damage to a few files. And so this is a, basically a test to find out what it messed up and uh, to see what files I probably need to pull out of, a, out of my backup or out of my archive or if it's a case where uh, thing, if certain things have been damaged too badly uh, if I need to just go ahead and completely uh, replace them. Now you're going to notice that it's already up to 4,000 out of the 6,000 files. So it's a fairly fast test. Uh, the good, I, good thing is that, that running it on the limited number of items we're running it on this time it uh, is covering it very well. Uh, however, if I would have done it on the videos, it would be taking uh, hours, literally, to run it because I have so many video clips. Uh, and, uh, you know, a, a short, uh, a 30 minute video clip, whenever you're developing it in Final Cut Pro, will take up about 30 gigabytes on your hard drive, sometimes as much as 60. So uh, the thing is that, you, you know, your files fill up your hard drive and running diagnostics on those. You, what you do is you plan ahead and you go ahead and uh, do those tests late at night. I'm almost done with my test. Looks like it's wrapping it up. Um, so here we are wrapping up the, the, the tests, getting the, to done the last of it. Uh, hear my dog barking in the background. I've got a feeling my dog is uh, chasing somebody that's walking down the street. Uh, great protection, but unfortunately too much for hassle. Okay, you'll notice that uh, it's giving a list of the files that are, that are messed up. Uh, you can actually go on, on and view the file and find out uh, wh wh where it's at. Uh, we can select a file and then go over here to uh, to view the file and, and it, notice it already it highlights the file so I know where it's at. I can go in there and if I need to replace it or physically edit it, I can do so. Uh, this is where having a good backup of your data is critical. Uh, you know, if you have a backup, all you got to do is basically drop that backup into place and you're back in business. Um, so, uh, you know, that, that's what you need to think about. I'm going to close that out and uh, move on to other things here. Now, there's, as, as we said before, there's a lot of other diagnostics tests that this program does. The point is that with this many diagnostics tests, uh, we could literally uh, spend hours and hours testing. Uh, the point I want to make here that's, to make it very clear to you is run the test that you need. Only the test you need. Don't go to running uh, a test on Surface Scan on a brand new drive or a Smart Check on a brand new drive unless you've had problems with saving files and things of that nature. Do not run a test that you don't need. Uh, also, before we go any further with this, I want to mention that you need to also uh, make sure that you uh, don't install uh, Tech Tool or any other utility on a hard drive that you su uh, suspect is damaged. Um, because, okay, notice we've, we're looking at the volume structures again. Uh, remember the things, things like this, I can't run those without going in there and uh, having an E-Drive uh, on there. So the E-Drive is, is your power tool there to solve that. You'll notice that you have to start up from the DVD to, in order to install it. It's just the way it works. But uh, I, I think you know, for the next uh, video, I'll probably go ahead and install an E-Drive just so I can show you that feature, uh, how it works and everything. Uh, but it's it's really a great utility. I think that uh, that uh, running it through the diagnostics first, see what's wrong on the drive, and then kind of go from there. Uh, as I said before, select the things you need, and remember it's a three-step process. You start on the left pane, go to the middle, towards the right, and then you finally click on the selection. Makes it very specific on what you uh, select, and then you should uh, be good to go. Okay, we're going to close out Tech Tool Pro. And uh, I want to thank you for your time and for watching the video. And uh, if you need computer help or assistance, come by my website at KrabbyMac.com. Uh, you can also Google or Bing the website uh, using uh, Krabby's Place as your search. Uh, and I'll be towards the top. It'll say, Welcome to Krabby's Place. I want to thank you and have a great day.